personally avoid PDF documents like the plague, so I'm not really impacted by Adobe Reader the way Patrick is. <clears throat> he hates it, he loves it, he hates it again. Mostly it's hate. Mostly hate. <laughs> and judging from some tweets he got last week, some of you are wondering what to do when Reader makes you a sad panda. Patrick? Adobe Reader was a resource-sucking mess that a year or two ago with Adobe Reader 9, it wasn't. <clears throat> At least not until the last few weeks when I finally gave up on keeping Adobe Reader from trying to install something over and over again every time I rebooted my machine that I had installed it and then I'd try to reinstall it again. And I was thinking about reinstalling Adobe 9, delete, reinstall Adobe Reader 9, right? That would be the noble thing to do. But the app is just pissed me off. And I know there's settings to keep it from auto-updating, but frankly, they weren't working for me. The error might be between keyboard and chair, but uninstalling Reader and loading Foxit Reader made the pain go away. If you don't know about it, you should. Fox Reader's been downloaded like 9 million times off of download.com, so it's kind of well proven. It's small, it light, it reads. Look, it's a PDF tool. I come to say the instructions for the furnace in my Airstream look, it launches. And I have a PDF doc that I can read, and it's free. Fox Reader lets you basically view, print, and annotate any PDF. And I personally have never annotated a PDF file, an Adobe Doc file, but if I suddenly find a need to annotate one, I will be able to do it again for free. It's fast, it's clean, and it doesn't make me want to start kicking my cubicle in anger. Now, if you want to create or edit PDF files, you're going to have to upgrade to Foxit PDF Creator or Foxit PDF Editor. Now, several folks on Twitter clued me into an application I'd never heard of. It's somewhat less known, and it's somewhat geekier. It's PDF Exchange Viewer. You're looking at me like, yeah, PDFs. You really I'm not it. a big PDF fan either, but I like to hear about alternate tools. Well, this is an awesome alternate tool. Again, it's your basic view, modify, annotate, minor, edit thing, but Exchange Viewer is kind of a free sample and hopes you'll upgrade to the Pro version, which offers bookmarking, scan to PDF, and a ton, a metric ton of editing features. That's what I like. I want more editing features. Yeah, well, you'll like this. That's part of why there's a giant pile of icons across the top. If you think it's too cluttered, don't worry. You can customize the, the, the toolbar action up there if you don't want to use all the editing features. Exchange is 35 bucks for a single license, the full Foxit PDF editor. That runs $99. The Foxit PDF creator is $29.99. Look, the basic PDF viewer bits for both are totally free, 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 and they're not Adobe Reader, and neither one of them has caused me to kick things in anguish and pain because they Yet. kept trying to reload. Yeah. I, I, okay, I will say the free <laughs> software, do the, do the custom installation because you may find a toolbar installed in your system if you don't pay attention during installation. Good so opt out. Opt out of toolbar hell.